Hello and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 301 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today's quiz comes from Florida. Heidi and Matthew Edgar sent in a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz. There's going to be 20 questions up front and a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Thank you for watching and let's get started. Good luck. Question number one. Most countries have reserves in place for strategic and critically important economic consumables. These consumables could be cash or precious metals or oil and gas reserves. In Canada, over several months in 2011 and 12, thieves made off with over 9,000 barrels of what product worth $18.7 million Canadian? They stole maple syrup from the Strategic Maple Syrup Reserve. Question number two. This 1982 novel, written in epistolary style, won the 1983 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. In 1985, it was adapted into film, and in 2005, it was developed into a Broadway musical of the same name. What is this novel? The answer is The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Question number three, this country is the sixth smallest nation worldwide and is a mountainous area between Switzerland and Austria and was once known as a billionaire's tax haven. What is this constitutional monarchy that is also the leading producer of false teeth? The answer is Liechtenstein. Question number four. Released in 1927, this movie was one of the first to have a synchronized score and sound effects and won the award for Best Unique and Artistic Picture at the first Academy Awards in 1929. What film has been preserved in the National Film Registry and been called the best silent movie of all time? Sometimes it's just called Sunrise, but the full title is Sunrise, A Song of Two Humans. Question number five. Who is this man, the only astronaut to both walk on the moon as commander of Apollo 16 in April of 1972 and fly on the first launch of the space shuttle, the STS-1, in 1981? His name was John Young. Question number six. Leading the American League in batting six times, this Hall of Famer has a 344 lifetime batting average and hit 521 home runs. Who was this outfielder who played in 18 All-Star games and was named the player of the decade for the 1950s? They called him the Splendid Splinter. His name was Ted Williams. Ted Williams is the answer. Question number seven. After serving as a nurse during the American Civil War, this woman ran the Office of Missing Soldiers, where they located or identified thousands of Union and Confederate soldiers and buried them in marked graves. Who is this woman who in 1881 started the American Red Cross? The answer is Clara Barton. Question number eight. In September of 1985, an unmanned submersible investigating the ocean floor at about 13,000 feet came across debris and a massive boiler. The next day, the wreck of the Titanic was found, broken in two, but relatively well preserved. Who is the oceanographer known for discovering the Titanic?
The answer is Robert Ballard. Question number nine. This Tom Clancy book is about a Cold War era Soviet naval captain and his officers trying to defect to the United States. What is this book made into the first Jack Ryan movie in 1990 with an all-star cast including Sean Connery and Alec Baldwin? The answer is The Hunt for Red October. Question number 10. What is this video game, released in full in 2011 and is still creating updates, where your first objective is to punch a tree and you might encounter skeletons, zombies, and witches in the night? This super popular video game is called Minecraft. Question number 11. Before pinning renowned novels like The Sun Also Rises, which iconic American author honed his distinctive writing style while working as a journalist for both the Kansas City Star and the Toronto Star during the early 20th century? The answer is Ernest Hemingway. Question number 12. What early duplicating machine, popular in schools and small businesses during much of the 20th century, used a stencil wrapped around a rotating drum to produce copies, often leaving hands and papers tinted with its distinctive purple ink? The answer is a mimograph, the mimograph machine. Question number 13. This lost city of the Incas is perched high atop a mountain in Peru. It was built around 1450 and abandoned about 100 years later. Several of its buildings have been reconstructed. What is the name of this UNESCO World Heritage Site? The answer is Machu Picchu. Question number 14. In mathematics, there's a distinct classification for two consecutive integers where the sums of their prime factors are the same. One well-known example includes the numbers 714 and 715. What are these pairs of numbers referred to as? The answer is Ruth Aaron pairs, after Hank Aaron and Babe Ruth. Question number 15. In Quentin Tarantino's iconic film, Pulp Fiction, a mysterious briefcase that emits a golden glow captivates the characters and the audience alike, driving much of the story's intrigue. What cinematic term describes such objects that propel the plot, even if their specific nature or importance remains ambiguous? That is called a MacGuffin. Question number 16. Some of the inhabitants of Cooper's Chase Retirement Village are not at all what you would expect. Richard Osman is the New York Times best-selling author that writes about Joyce, Elizabeth, Ron, and Abraham and the adventures they get into in what group? That is the same title as the first book. The group and the book are called The Thursday Murder Club. Question number 17. Every year, people take part in a contest that spans the United States and Canada, consisting of hunting as many birds as possible in a certain time span. What is this contest called 
That is also the title of a 2003 book by Marco Masic and a 2011 movie starring Steve Martin, Jack Black, and Owen Wilson. I can picture the cover of that DVD, but I've never seen it. It's called The Big Year. Question number 18. There are 18 states in the U.S. whose name ends in a consonant. 21 state names end with the letter A, 4 end with the letter E, and 3 end with the letter I. Name the only four states that end with the letter O. The answer is Colorado, Idaho, New Mexico, and Ohio. Question number 19. Heavily used in ancient Roman cooking, as well as used as a medicine to treat earaches, ulcers, and other ailments, the production of this fermented fish sauce was so smelly there were laws in place to prohibit new facilities being built near towns. What is the name of this ingredient? The answer is garum. And question 20. In 1994, the Parliament of Canada passed the National Sports of Canada Act, declaring its official national sports. There is no surprise that hockey was declared as the official winter sport, but what was listed as the official summer sport? Also a stick and net game, the answer is lacrosse, the official summer sport of Canada. And that is it for today's quiz. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Thank you again to Heidi and Matthew from Havana, Florida. They've sent in two quizzes. The next one will pop up sometime in November. I've just sent their road trip kit yesterday, so they haven't received it yet. We don't have a cool picture of them, but they'll be getting it this week. Heidi and Matt, if you're watching, it's on its way. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We post new quizzes like this every single day. Uh, right now we're doing viewer submitted quizzes. That will go as long as we've got people sending in quizzes. And then after that, we'll figure something else out. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today. Named after Edmund Haley, who studied its appearances and reappearances, Haley's Comet is a short period comet that is visible to the naked eye on Earth every 75 to 79 years. What year was the last time it appeared in the inner solar system? The last time it was visible was 1986. Whichever player got closest to 1986 wins the point. And if it was a tiebreaker, they just won the whole game. Also, the next Haley's Comet is coming in 2061. So I'll just let you know right now we're going to do a special quiz episode that day whenever the Haley's Comet comes back. So subscribe to the channel, stick around till 2061 and get ready for a Haley's Comet specific trivia. See you then, or just tomorrow.